Relations and functions and graphs. All right. So let's work out the first question. It says two functions are given f of x and g of x. It says f of x is 5x minus 4 over 3. Find f of 7. So to find f of 7, you're going to just put x as 7. So f of 7 is equal to 5 times 7 minus 4 over 3. And you just put this in a calculator and you get the value for f of 7. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 minus 4 is 31. And so you get 31 over 3. And it says write an expression in terms of x or f inverse of x. All right, write an expression in terms of x for f inverse of x. Write an expression for x. Write an expression in terms of x for f inverse of x. So first thing is they always tell us to interchange x and y. So you write x is equal to 5y minus 4 over 3. And then you need to make back y the subject, and that is f inverse. So I multiply by 3 and add 4 to it to get 3x plus 4 is equal to 5y. And so making y the subject, clearly I can see that f inverse of x, which is y, f inverse of x, which is y, it's going to be equal to the 3x plus 4, and all of that is, of course, divided by 5. Nice and easy. Soft. Then it's a write an expression in terms of x for fg of x. fg of x means we put g of x into f. So putting g of x into f, put g of x into f, we're going to get that fg of x is equal to, put g of x into f, it's going to be 5 times x squared minus 1 minus 4. And that's all being divided by 3. That's equal to 5 times x squared is 5x squared. And 5 times minus 1 is minus 5, minus 4. And all of that is divided by 3. So let's simplify what fg of x work out to be. All right, simplifying it, what we're going to get is 5x squared minus 9 over 3. And that is fg of x. We'll just put g of x into f. No issues, no worries, no troubles. The next part of the question says, um, Express a quadratic function in the form a in bracket x plus h square plus k. Depending on which method you were taught this, there are different ways to go about it. Some persons can do this by factorization. Some persons do this by using the formula method. I'm sticking with the formula method. Now this quadratic is in its standard form. And so we can decipher that our a is equal to 3. That's a. Using the formula method, we have been told that h is equal to b 
divided by 2a. This is what we have been taught. And so what is B? B is the coefficient of our X term, which is six. And so it's six divided by two times A and A is three. Two times three is six. And so H equal one. And then we taught, we're taught a formula as well for K. And they tell us that K is equal to four times A times C minus b square and the result is divided by four times of course a so this is the formula we use to find k so all you do is substitute a as three c as negative two and b as six so when you do that you're going to get four times three times negative two minus B and B squared is minus six square. That works out to be negative 60 over four times A and four times A is four times three, which is 12. So K works out to be negative five. So if you're not following, let me just write down where I use the A and the B and the C values from. A is equal to three, B is equal to six, C is equal to negative two. Then use these values to find H and K. So of course now we can rewrite F of X in what's known as the vertex form. And so F of X is equal to A, A is three multiplied by X plus H and then we ask ourselves, what is H? We found H, H is one. So it's three times X plus one all square plus K, what is K? Minus five, all right? K is minus five. It says hence or otherwise state the minimum value of F of X, all right? And so what is the minimum value of F of X? Minimum, value of f of x is equal to k, always remember that. And so the mean value is negative five. That's the minimum value of f of x. Then it says state the equation of the axis of symmetry. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to minus h. All right, and so the axis of symmetry is x equal to negative one. Now it says sketch the graph showing the y-intercept and the coordinates of the minimum point. Now we're gonna sketch a quadratic. What I normally like to do first is just sketch the graph. I just like to draw a quadratic graph. Whoa, I don't like this one, how it's coming out. Let's try to make it a little smaller. I like to just sketch my quadratic first. And I like to put on information. Before I draw the axis, I like put on information. The minimum point is X is negative one and Y is negative five. That's the minimum point. And if this is negative one, then I know that the X axis is somewhere over here. Negative one, this would be zero. Uh, so the x axis is somewhere here. That's the x axis. And then it cuts the y axis at negative two. So something like this. So this is the y axis intercept right here is negative two. And this is the minimum point negative one, negative five. 
and that's your graph. This is your y axis, this is your x axis. All right? That's it. Nice and easy. Okay? If you don't like my sketch, just to show you guys the actual pretty graph, because I know some of us like to see the pretty graphs. Here's a pretty graph. I can go to graphs and sketch it and let the graph do it for us. Let the graph do it for us. Sketch the function. The function is 3x squared. 3x squared plus 6x minus 2. And I wanted to sketch it between, let's say, a minus 5 and a positive 5. All right, and I want it to start and end. There it is, just like our sketch that we had. What's the y axis at negative two? And this is the turning point, the turning point which is negative one, negative five. All right, just like how our graph sketch. Nice and easy. This is our sketch. That takes care of question nine. 